Thank you for listening. My name is Mike Strauss, a.k.a. Strauss 21. I'm a mixed martial arts journalist. I currently contribute to BJPen.com, Low Kick MMA, CageSidePress.com. You could find my work there as well as my YouTube channel at AK Strauss 21. And of course, the Did You See That Shit Mixed Martial Arts podcast that you are listening to right now. Here is my latest interview. I hope you enjoy it. I want to welcome back Kurt Hollibaugh to the show. Has a big fight coming up, UFC 230 against Shane Burgos. What's going on, man? Hey, how's it going, man? Thanks for having me on the show. Yeah, anytime, man. I mean that. Uh, this is, a, this is to me, I, I've said this a few times now, your fight against Shane Burgos at UFC 230 is going to be my pick for fight of the night because 230 is a huge card. There's going to be a lot of dominating headlines, but I think your fight is is the fight that is kind of flying under the radar. Yeah, you know, without a doubt. Um, if anybody's ever seen Burgos fight or myself fight, then you already know what type of fight that's going to be. In. Um, the only fight that scared me before of stealing fight of the night from us was going to be Poirier and Diaz. Mm-hmm. You know? But now that that fight's off, there is, I don't see no way that, you know, we're not each packing home 50 Gs. I 100% agree with your assessment, man. Uh, that was the only fight, you know, up there that would probably hang with you guys. I mean, of course, uh, you, you guys have very similar styles, but uh, what would you say the main differences between you and Burgos are? Um, you know, I I, I think he's more one-dimensional. Um, now he, he's good boxing, good on the feet. I think he uh, slips really well, but and, and he comes forward. He's got good pressure, but I think I'm just going to be a little bit better, well-rounded. I agree. I think you're probably a better grappler, better wrestler. I think you're better if the fight hits the ground. Uh, but uh, it's going to be an exciting. It's going to be an exciting fight, man. Uh, I I saw you on social media. You had mentioned before Poirier got hurt, and when when they announced uh, that DC was going to be on the card, you were excited because Louisiana was going to be representing rather strong, huh? Yeah, for sure. You know, and still, you know, with uh, the UFC and DC and Derek Lewis. Both of those guys are Louisiana guys. Uh, a lot of people don't know that Derek Lewis is actually from New Orleans. So you got two Louisiana guys in the main event. Then you got me, and then you got a, a friend of mine, Jason Knight, who's you know right down the road from me in Biloxi, Mississippi, who's also on the card. So we got some a lot of guys from the South, man. Yeah, you guys are going to be representing in full strength, man. How's training been going? Oh, uh, you know, it's been going great. Uh, I'm actually up here right now in Sacramento, California, training with Team Alpha Male. Um for these next couple weeks and uh you know uh things couldn't be better how long have you been training with uh with team alpha male um well i just came down here for this week and i'm gonna try to finish it out out here um i did come to california a couple weeks ago and train with the csa gym which is a really big really great gym uh so i got some good work in over there so uh, i've been kind of bouncing around trying to find some uh the right place, man, and uh, I think Alpha Male is it. Very cool. So, is that what you were kind of doing? You're kind of trying to find maybe a new home. Yeah, of course, always back home and in, in my gym that I'm from, um, Grace United Team Junkhouse House, House is always going to be my home. Um, but you know, uh, at the level that I'm at right now, I really need to get around and you know get some training with some of these other guys that are already in the UFC and that you know been champion guys like Faber and um a bunch of other guys out there at Alpha Male so it, it's good to kind of get out there and get some of the work in with the guys that's been at that level for so long no you're right man I think that's uh that's probably a, a very good move Alpha Male I, I don't think there's there's probably not a more respected camp in, in the world than Team Alpha Male I mean they've been doing it the right way for a very long time so that that's a great move for you man let me ask you the the brawl UFC 229 what did you think of that whole thing man I thought it was crazy and I definitely think if you tell if you call Khabib and tell Khabib meet you somewhere that dude's gonna be there yeah <laughs> I think if uh before the bus of it if Connor would have called Khabib and said hey I'll be there in 10 minutes. Khabib would have been there waiting on him. <laughs> I think you're right, man. The The last time that we got to see you in the octagon, it was against uh, uh, Hani Barsalas, UFC Fight Night 133. 
personally, I thought you were winning the fight up until the third round. What did you think of the fight? Um, well, you know, it was a tough fight. And um, maybe underestimated Barcelos a little bit. And maybe didn't put quite the effort in training camp that I should. Should have. Um, but with that being said, I thought training camp went smooth. I didn't have any injuries. Uh, my weight was on point. Uh, I, I felt great in every practice. But it's just maybe, maybe I didn't push myself to the levels that I could have and I know I can push um, because I feel like in the third round, my body started hurting a little bit and I started slowing down a little bit. And once I started to slow down a little bit, I feel like, and I even remember this being in the fight, I felt like I was getting too comfortable. Like I felt like he couldn't hit me with anything. I was standing in front of him. And the next thing you know, um, I knew he had dropped me and, as I seen him jump over me, I was ready to try to pull guard and recover, but uh, you know, Herb Dean stopped it, and I didn't get the chance. It was still one of the best fights in recent memory, man. I mean, it was just exciting from to the very end. It was it was a great fight. Thank you. So, uh, for you to admit that you underestimated a guy, man, that that takes that takes a big guy. Is that something that you've always been able to do is kind of step back outside of yourself and, and, and assess your performance and what you should be doing? Yeah, for sure. And I think to be a real fighter, man, you got to be able to do that. You got to be real with yourself. And I think that's part of uh, uh, what Connor messed up in his fight with Khabib. I don't think he was real with himself. Um, I think he really thought that he can go out there and out wrestle Khabib. So, you know, I always got to go back and I always got to look at my performance and assess my performance and see the things I did well, to see the things that I, I messed up on, see the mistakes that I made. And, um, you know, I, I think I made quite a few with Barsolas. Um, I didn't know if I didn't think he was going to really be as powerful and as fast as he was. I figured, you know, with him coming off that long layoff, because he ain't fought in like two years before me, that, you know, there would definitely be some ring rust there. But. I mean, the guy really reminded me of Jose Aldo, man, and I think he's going to be one of the next big things uh, in that weight class. Of course, uh, I, you know, I would love to see him go on and do well, and you never know if maybe I, uh, we'll meet again later on down the road. Everybody would, uh, everybody would pay big money to see that rematch, that's for sure. I, I'd like to give you a few minutes here, man. Shout out your coaches, sponsors, whatever you'd like, man. The floor is yours, Kurt. Yeah, for sure. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and thank my team back home. Raphael Elwanger, Scott Smith, Jimmy Mills, Randy James, all of my training partners in my gym, uh, Grace United, Team, team Junkow South, they meet. Um, you know, I go ahead and let me go ahead and thank Faber, Alpha Male, uh, and all those guys that are helping me over there. Um, you know, and all my friends and family back home, my sponsors, K-Ray Construction, um, Grill, Tomato. You know, thank them guys for uh, backing me. You know, I can't wear none of their logos or anything in the ring. But I uh, definitely always give them shout outs and praises through all of my interviews and social media. So, you know, thank you to everybody that's uh, staying with me. Well, I appreciate your time, Kurt. Best of luck to you, UFC 230. Arguably one of the biggest fight cards of the year, man, and you're a part of it. And I think that you guys are going to get fight of the night. So uh, I can't wait, man. Yeah, for sure, man. I'm excited and I'll be ready to go. No, I appreciate your time, man. Yep. Thank you. Take care, Kurt. <laughs>